everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kylie with Fake Eat Love, and today we're going to be talking about trifles, and I'm going to be showing you how to put together the perfect trifle. So the trifle recipe originated in England and was composed of three to four layers. The first layer was a sponge cake that was doused in some type of liquor, traditionally sherry. The second layer is a custard layer. The third layer was a jelly layer, if it was added in, and then the last layer was a whipped topping layer. It was then garnished with chopped nuts or dry fruit or chocolate shavings. Tonight, I'm going to be showing you how to put together the perfect trifle using our chocolate Marionberry trifle recipe. So we have our three components here that make up our three layers. We have this nice fudgy brownie layer. We have our custard layer, which is the chocolate pudding. And for our third layer, we kind of did a combination of the jelly layer with the whipped topping layer. And we folded in a delicious Marionberry jam into our whipped cream. So what's so great about a trifle is that it can essentially be composed of scraps from other desserts that you have created. If you have some extra custard, you could use that as the second layer in your custard. If you have some extra cake scraps, so maybe you had a sheet cake that you had cut some cakes out of to make some smaller cakes, you can use those scraps as your bottom layer and kind of fill in with the other components. All right, great. So I'm going to show you, I'm making little individual trifles. So I'm using a nice clear glass here. You can also make a larger one if you want it to be a little bit more impactful, a little bit more of a showstopper. Um, but these individual ones are great as well. You just want to make sure, like I said, that you're using a clear glass even when you do your larger ones so you can see those beautiful layers that you're going to be creating. So I have clean hands. I'm going to take some of my fudgy brownie here. I did the crumble technique on my brownie which is exactly what it sounds like. Baked the brownie, waited for it to cool, and then crumbled it up. You could also cut it into cubes if you like. So I'm just creating a layer by grabbing some of the brownie and pushing it to the bottom here, just to create a nice even layer. Just like this. Just get a little bit more. Great. Wipe my hand off a little bit here. So my second layer is the custard layer, which we are using a chocolate pudding. Now you can put this in a piping bag, or you can spoon it in just like I'm doing here. Just being a little bit careful because I'm trying not to get it onto the side of the glass there because we want to make sure that we're creating these nice, clean, beautiful layers. If you do end up getting a little bit on the side of the glass, if you got a little bit there, no worries. You can just grab a paper towel, give a little bit of wipe, good as now. Add just a little bit more pudding here, kind of finish that layer off. There I go, adding a little bit to the side. All right, so for our final layer, I actually have a cool trick to show you. So you're gonna put in a little bit more of the whipped topping than you need. And I'll show you why. Just getting that down in there. Can be a little bit messier with it. All right. Kind of even it out, push it down in to kind of pack it in there. Add just a little bit more to the top and I'm gonna show you the trick here. So I'm gonna clean my spatula off on the side here and then I'm gonna take it, just put it level on top like this and swipe it and the excess is gonna fall right off into the bowl here. So we can use that for our next trifle. And then you have this really nice polished look on top here. And like I said, I'm just gonna take this paper towel, wipe it right along, and you have that nice polished look and you can see those nice three even layers there, which is what we're looking for. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna garnish my trifle with a little rosette of whipped cream. And there you have it. And you can add some chocolate shavings if you like, some fresh berries, you can have fun with it. So if you're interested in the recipe, you can find it on our blog at blog.bakeyloveboxcom If you would like to make the box, the chocolate Marionberry Mousse trifles, save a little bit of time, you can go to bakeyloveboxcom and you can order yours today while supplies last. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all next time.